broadcasting. And we at CJOB would like to step back and take a look at ourselves over the past two decades. We also invite our listeners and friends to take a reminiscent look at us. You know, it seems like only yesterday when Mayor Garnet Coulter of Winnipeg threw the switch that started CJOB on its road to broadcasting popularity and success. This is Cliff Gardner speaking. And on this 20th anniversary of Radio Winnipeg, CJOB, let's relive some highlights over the past 20 years. As we open our book of memories, we find Flying Officer Jack Blick and some of his Air Force buddies. It's September in the year 1945. I might even stay in the Delta for a while. Gonna stay, uh, From what I hear, jobs aren't too easy to get these days. Well, that's one way of looking at it. How about you, Jack? Hey, Blick. Hey, what's up? Wait, what have you got right. lined up when you get out? Weren't you in the advertising racket before you joined up or something like that? Yeah, that's right. That's where I was. Well, uh, are you going to take up from where you left off? No, I don't think I will. I've got other plans. Maybe. Oh, you've got I other plans, plans, eh? Hmm. Well, well I'm okay. thinking of starting a radio station. A, a radio, radio station? <laughs> oh, I like that. But on March 11th, 1946... This is Flick Broadcasting Limited. 1340 on the dial. CJOB... The station that's working for Winnipeg. Yes, the biggest little station on the continent was all set to entertain, to inform, to serve Winnipeg. The radio broadcasting fraternity of Winnipeg in 1946 joined in welcoming and congratulating CJOB. CKRC, CKY, and the CBC are combining on this salute to CJOB to wish them every success. Thank you very, very much, Will. That was fine and dandy. No, no, this is fine and dandy. Yeah? Who's on second? All right, Costello. <laughs> no, I mean Roy Loxley and the orchestra are going to play fine and dandy. Oh, yes, the closing number on our salute to CJOB. I don't suppose we have time enough to say how fine we think it is that Winnipeg has a new radio station? No, Jack, I'm afraid not. Or how dandy the reception of CJOV has been so far? No, I haven't time for that, Jack. And how we wish them every success in their venture? No, I guess we haven't time. That's all there is. There is no more. On this dedication program, you heard Roy Loxley and his orchestra, songs by Mal Collier and Wilf Davidson, Pete Couture and his violin novelette, and the twin piano stylings of Parks and Burdett. The program was produced by Norm Lucas of the CBC. This is Jack Scott of CKRC. And Tom Benson of CKY. Saying good night and good luck, CJOB. <laughs> In 1946, there was very little of any local radio. The two stations serving the Winnipeg area were network affiliates. Thus, when CJOB put the accent on local programming, it was a new idea widely accepted. Our president made this statement at our inaugural dinner. Mr. Coyne has painted a very glowing picture of this station. It's a small station, as you know, 250 watts. We have... Uh, not the power of CKY or CKRC, but we intend to try to match them in quality. Those first years were exciting years at CJOB. As a matter of fact, let's take a few minutes right now to hear some of CJOB's early programs. Gems from the show. Five minutes, CJOB presents the songs and music that everyone loves. Transcribed favorites from the light operas, operettas, and Broadway musical shows, immortalized by the silver screen radio and theater. These are gems from the show. Here is the latest news from the wires of British United and Canadian Press. The second session of the Foreign Minister's Conference is underway in Moscow in the House of Soviet Aviation. Good morning, neighbors. This is Chuck Cook inviting you to smile, darn you. Come on, smile. Good afternoon, sports fans. This is George Kent reporting. Riding down the Santa Fe. Howdy, Westerners. This is your old ranch foreman, Hank McClure. Request Lior Zikot speaking. This is Jim Gibson inviting.
inviting you to meet the dance band. This is uh, Rowdy Dot Patterson howling from 12 to 2, but never for one moment blue, because I'm doing it all for you to help me. Yes, you heard correctly, the voices of George McCloy and Dudley Patterson. They were there in the beginning and are now celebrating with CJOB 20 years of serving Winnipeg and Manitoba. It was a mere two years later in 1948 that CJOB installed a new kind of transmitter to serve Winnipeg, a fledgling broadcast medium called FM. And a new sound was heard in Manitoba. CJOB and CJOB FM Winnipeg. Yes, CJOB FM was the first frequency modulation broadcasting station in Western Canada. As a matter of fact, 13 years elapsed before another FM radio station appeared on the scene. radio station is not without difficulties, and we had those too. For example, back in 1950, when everybody was fighting a common enemy, the murky, cold floodwaters of the rampaging red. Listen to a moment of CJOB's 1950 flood reports. Our purpose in this broadcast is to attempt to give you an idea of the flood picture here in Winnipeg as it exists at this time, Friday evening, May the 12th, just one week after the first major flood crest hit this city. We're using FM uh, between flood control headquarters and the legislative buildings in our studios. Yesterday afternoon, when telephone communication went out, we set up this communication immediately and have been receiving messages from flood control headquarters to keep abreast of the time. The river at the present time stands 30 feet above flood stage. Throughout the 1950s, CJOB continued this business of broadcasting with familiar programs like Dreamland Special, Ladies' Choice, Beef or Bouquet, Club 1340, Gems from the Shows, Problem Corner, The Western Hour, and who could forget... The Adventures of Forest Friends! world's most resourceful man shows us another brilliant chapter in his adventurous life. And this is no doubt being presented for your edification. Good heavens, my shaggy companion. Look, darkness at midday. But there's no cloud cover forecast, no eclipse. You say you can see clearly, Chef. It's only me that's affected then. The four-legged one is correct, Master. The reason you alone are affected, O oh exalted one. Your fur forest hat has fallen over your eyes. From comedy to something we take quite seriously, public service. Here are just a few of the awards and citations which we are proud to display. The Broadcasters Promotion Association Award for Outstanding On-Air Promotion. The first Canadian General Electric Award for the highest achievement of member stations of the Canadian Association of Broadcasters in maintaining the highest percentage of required programming hours on the air. The John J. Gillen Award, which was first presented to CJOB in 1951. The inscription on the shield reads, for outstanding community service in the interests of charity. We are also quite naturally proud of our part in raising over a quarter of a million dollars for the Sanatorium Board of Manitoba in their efforts to stamp out TB. Everybody remembers... This is George Davies with the ACT Amateur Hour broadcast. <laughs> Meanwhile, experienced, capable engineers under the direction of CJOB veteran Reg Dury began gigantic changes in CJOB's technical equipment. The result? A new, higher fidelity transmitter, an increase in power to 5,000 watts, then to 10,000 watts, and with it, a new location on the dial. Dial CJOB 68 on your dial. Then in September of 1959, the news was out. CJOB bands rock and roll. Rock was out. Good listening was in. Our 
sound is tasty as a cherry pie. 680 OB Radio will be the apple blossom of your eye. CJOB. New programming innovations were introduced to Winnipeg and Manitoba in the years that followed. Time for Be Live. Are you listening for $37? Before 3.30, we'll phone you. This is Officer Bob. Your attention, please. Here is a Hertz Rent-A-Car News Cruiser Bulletin. This is Beacon. Weekend radio for all of Manitoba. Good morning, Beefs and Bouquets. Sunny weather. Welcome to Carnival, CJOB's winter weekend. Special note should be made here about a program we're mighty proud of. It's been one of the most successful and most enduring of radio shows. For 20 years now, on Sunday mornings, you have heard... This is just for you. That's the familiar voice of a man known as Mr. Shut-In, George McCloy. Through George's friendly voice and a special song or greeting from friends and loved ones, the program has made the Shut-In's life a little brighter, a little happier, a little more comfortable. But CJOB has gone a step further... In recent years, a special shut-ins fund has been incorporated. George McCloy is its manager, and monies are dispersed to those in need. Monies raised through special CJOB events, such as the annual Christmas tree program, the carol festivals, the movie premiere of The Sound of Music in Winnipeg, the 1964 license plate scrap metal appeal, and yes, even this record album that you're listening to right now. CJOB will continue the program of hope of companionship for shut-ins, for they are radio's most loyal listeners. So, there it is. 20 years of broadcasting news, sports, information, and entertainment. And we've enjoyed every minute of it. variety in broadcasting from such emergencies as the 1950 flood crisis, the destructive 1954 time-building fire, recently Canada's half-million-dollar gold theft at Winnipeg, and the worst winter storm in Manitoba's history, to show business celebrities, Tommy Dorsey, the Mills Brothers, Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, Gracie Fields, Matt King Cole, Frankie Lane, Harry James, Sophie Tucker, Satchmo, and others. In our two decades, we claim many broadcasting firsts with 24-hour-a-day service. The first all-night radio show, news on the hour every hour. First fully staffed on-location election broadcast. The first FM license, first stereo broadcast. Exclusive CFL football coverage in the Blue Bombers' most exciting football year, and more. At this milestone, we at CJOB are mindful of the fact there is no other medium of communication pledged to render a community service 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, comparable to radio. If we may serve you better, your wish is our command. This is our story, the story of CJOB, proud of our 20 years working for Winnipeg. <laughs>